Hello, it's Sal here. Today I'm going to make some silk paper. I want some silk paper to use in my work. So I'll just show you a lot of people have stopped making silk paper a long, long time ago. I spent a lot of shows demonstrating at every show to huge, big crowds of people. Now these are tussa silk, they're all hand dyed. Can you see how they've got all the... So I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. And I'm working on um, towel background and some netting. And for this occasion, I've actually got some nice fresh netting instead of the grotty old stuff I've usually used. So I put down a layer, like so. I'll just make a little bit because I only need a little bit. And then another one here. And I'm not... You can be as precise as you want to be. Some people are very thinny about it all. And then a second layer. Now this is just a basic way to make, that I make, use to make silk paper. It's also these days called fusion, silk fusion. It's sort of, because what you're doing in fact is gluing it, because there's no sericin in this, it's been dyed. And uh, the beautiful colours, these greens. And so I'm going to do a three layer one. But sometimes I do just one layer or two layers, or leave big holes if I want them for something else. So you can, and so that's one layer that way and of course it sticks to your hands and it's quite good to perhaps put a bit of cream on your hands if you're having a few problems like that and I'm just doing the top layer reasonably lightly and there it is there so that's all my silk Tease out now. This is Jo Sonia textile medium, which has water in it. I usually do is about 50 50, and um, I really need just watch the space for two seconds. Let me show you still. Okay, so erroneous situation. Before I do anything else, I put the other sheet of um, netting on the top and then wet it down. That's what I forgot to bring the water. Usually warm water with soapy water, which I haven't done at all here. But I just want to wet it down. So, and to wet it down so that the medium will go inside. I'll turn it over, wet it again. As I said, I usually put a bit of detergent in it. It's not going to make a lot of difference today. And then my medium, which I, which as I said, has got water in it. Because I usually work about 50-50. And then I'll paint the medium on. And give it a good. Now the reason you put the water, soapy water in, is so that the medium will absorb into it. I'm using an old towel. Most people have got an old towel somewhere. And then and then sometimes I hang it up on the line or I just leave it to dry. So if I take that top layer off here, you can see see it there and it will just dry um, so we leave it like that and hold it up for you you can see it'll dry into one piece it'll stick together and I'll show you some of the other pieces that I've done what you can do with the silk paper this is another one made with fibers you can see the layers and on the top of it I've stitched I've stamped on it with a um, couple of Indian printing blocks and then stitched so it's a wonderful becomes a wonderful fabric to use for clothing, for bags, for book covers, for whatever you do. And this one here is another one, and I've cut bits out of it so you can see the layers and how I've got it all there. So you can then piece it down again into other other things for applique. And this one has been um, twin needled, so it's got heaps of this is from a sample from a dress from a long time ago. But it's uh, just you've got the silk and you've got the metallic threads and how effective it is, um, this is free twin needling. Um, it's one of my favourite little pieces, uh, not sure where the dress is now, 
Uh, and this is another one that I've made that I've just done some simple twin needling and hand stitching on to how effective it is as a piece. Um, and finally, this little piece here is I've stamped on it and used stencils and paint, uh, Lumiere paint. And then I've stamped and I've stitched it. So it's a wonderful background if you run the um, look at it down through the camera there. So it's really, really quite. It's so versatile and so useful. This little piece, when it's dry, I'm going to just use in some work and stitch a little image onto it. So for if you haven't made silk paper for a long time, it might be time to make a bit, make some again. Or if you've never made it, what a great chance to start. See you again. Bye.